Give me uh, Ezekiel 34 and 31. Because I heard, because this is Lord's will, you're soon to be white. All right, 34 and 31, and then give it to me. Because what God wants you to know is that he's raising up the men first so they can be able to teach their household. You understand? So he want to raise you up to be a man in your house. Not a boy, a man. And when it comes to being a man, he read a scripture that keeping the commandments of God is what shows you to be men. You understand? Read that. Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 31. Read it. And ye my flock. The flock of my pasture are me. Are who? Are me. That's who he's going to use to teach the 12 tribes of Israel who they are. The men of the This is what he requires of the men. Right. Read that. First Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. This is a true saying. Uh -huh. If a man desire the office of a bishop. The word bishop just translates to a leader. All right. Read. He desireth a good work. It's a good thing to want to be a leader of your household. It's a good thing to want to be a leader of your community. That's right. right. Uh, Read. A bishop then must be blameless. You shouldn't be smoking weed. You shouldn't be uh looking for licks. Right. You should be marrying your women. Read, get tattoos. Read. The husband of one wife. You shouldn't be married to three different women. It says a, a husband of one wife. Read. Vigilant. Uh-huh. Sober. Uh-huh. Of good behavior. So you shouldn't be smoking weed. Nobody should be popping Molly's, right. smoking crack, none of that. Really? Right. Oh. Give it to hospitality. Uh-huh. Apt to teach. Wanted to teach their brothers and sisters. Read on. Not give it to wine. You shouldn't be getting drunk. You can drink wine in moderation. You can drink, you can drink a little henny. Just don't drink over too much. Read. No striker. Uh, shouldn't be fighting. Shouldn't be one in the bra. Like we seen the brothers were about to do coming out the corner store. Right. Now, rebuke the neighbor. Correct me. Hey, bro, I don't want you doing that. You're going to have to leave the store. I don't right. have to fight you. I can just talk to you. Right. Read. Not greedy of filthy lucre. We shouldn't be trying to hustle one another. Right. We owe something costs 30 bucks, and I'm going to put a price on that thing. $10 to make my money on the side. No. Read on. But patience. Uh-huh. Not a brawler. Uh-huh. Not covetous. Uh-huh. One that ruleth well his own house. That's what I want to get to. Right. Someone who rule his house well. Right. This is going to be your wife. Give me 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Bring it up. You love God, all praises. So when you loving your God, he commands you to rule your house well. Right. When he commands of our women, the soldier brought it up, that a woman should be wearing what? Exactly. So in your house, the woman gonna be wearing what? Dress. Read that. 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 Read For this is the love of God, uh -huh. that we keep his commandments. So if you love God, what you gonna do with your soon to be white? What you gonna have on? Because you gonna rule your household well. That's you right. You understand that? Now nah, give me a back. Go back to uh, Timothy and read that part again. In you ruling your household, there's things that you have to. There's things that you can eat and things that you cannot eat. So there's things when she shops that she shouldn't be bringing in the house. Right. So read that part again. One that ruled well his own house. So you have to rule your own house well. And ruling it well is keeping the God's commandments. That's right. So now give me uh, Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. This is another commandment for your household. Oh, uh, you have any children besides the one you're about to have? All praises, all praises. So and you're going to have to teach them, but you first have to teach your wife as well. And I'm going to give a commandment for her so she can understand where she lies. Um, uh, see if she's above you or below you according to the word of God. Right. All right. Because America taught you 50-50. Right. That's not what God teaches. Right. Yeah, Leviticus 11, verse 7. Bring what you can up. bring in the house? Leviticus, huh? chapter 11, verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swan, though he divided the hook. Because majority of the time it's the woman doing all the shopping for the food and things like that. So it says the swan. You know what a swan is? Bacon. Bacon. You know what the swan is? What's another word for swan? Pig. The pig. Right. So the pork, anything that has to do with pork, God says what? Though he divide the hook uh -huh. and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. Uh -huh. He is unclean to you. God says don't eat the bacon. Right. Don't eat the pork. Right. Don't eat right. the uh, baconator that Wendy's got. Right. God says don't eat that. Do not eat the pork. Um, Give me the fish in the scales. The fins in the scales. Verse 10. And this is also in the waters because a lot of Judites, so-called African American, love to eat crab, shrimp, lobsters. And the majority of the time, the woman, oh, take me to red lobster. 
Bring it out. Uh, this is what God requires from you about the fishes in the water. Everything that's in the water. Read. Verse 10. Uh -huh. And all that have not fins and scales. So anything that don't have fins and scales. Do shark have fins and scales? Yeah. You sure? Do, nah. do shark it has have fins, fins but not scales. Fins, ah. but not scales. So can you eat that? We know. In the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. So if it don't have fins and scales, it's disgusting to you. That's right. right. It says don't eat that thing. That's right. That's right. So another one. Oh, uh, how about whale? Did you eat whale? How about octopus? Catfish. Huh? Do it. Now, Cat is a bottom feeder, you're not supposed to eat that anyway. Exactly. It does not have skill. So these things that you won't teach yourself, you know, okay, let me find out what have fins and what don't have fins and scales. Right. So you're going to learn things along learning the ways of the commandments of God. That's right. For you to teach your household. Right. So you're going to teach your kids. you be like, oh, Pops, can I eat shark? No, because they don't have what? Scale. It has fins, but don't have scales. Pops, why can't, why can't I eat crab? It don't have fins and scales, son. Right. That thing eats the craps of the water. Right. You're better than that. God, you're a chosen people of God. Bring it out. God don't want you eating that. You're a hard people on to. Right. It's good. Give me uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Okay. And then 1 Corinthians 11. Right. Right. Yeah, get that. We're going to get that. This is why in proving, because you're going to have to prove each other again. You want to make sure that the woman that you're going to marry is going to be submissive and to keeping God's commandments oh, underneath you keeping God's right commandments. Up, right. Because she shouldn't just marry any brother. She has to marry somebody who's going to take care of the household according to the word of God. Right. Before you can even marry, you have to have your own place. You have to be working. You should be able to take care of her. Right. Read that. Ephesians for the woman. Chapter 5, verse 22. Uh-huh. Why? Well, hold up. Girlfriend. Why? Uh-huh. Submit yourselves unto your own husband. Read. As unto the Lord. The only way she could submit underneath you, you have to be submitted underneath the Lord. That's right. And you have to be applying his commandments. Right. right. Because how, how can she follow you when you yourself don't even know how to lead? Right. Because you'll lose your job and you'll be like, man, look, man, I, I shall look for the next one. No, we can't do that as men. I lose my job, I gotta go find the next one. Right. Because if a man don't know how to take care of his own household, how can he take care of the church of God? Right. How can he teach his brother how to be men? Right. And his son. Read that again. Why? To me yourselves unto your own husband. So you have a job to do as a man of Israel. Finish that. As unto the Lord. Now go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. We're going to see if they equal with us. Bring because, sis, if somebody breaks into the house, right? Bring it out. Would you pop up and be like, oh, who the hell is this trying to break into my house? Or are you going to look at your husband and be like, go check on that. Bring it out. Let me know. Where the woman at? Where the woman at? Oh, yeah, the woman is in the Bible. Where the woman is in the Bible. You are here. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about that. Right. Verse Corinthians, huh? chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Uh -huh. And the head of the woman is the man. You understand no. that? So the head of Christ is God. The head of the man is Christ. The head of the woman is who? The man is you. You're the head over your soon-to-be wife, Lord's will. Yes, right. But, finish that off. <clears throat> and the head of Christ is God. Get so out. you got God, Christ, man, and woman. There's no equality with the man and the woman. There's no 50-50. Right. It's chapter 7, verse 26. Sirach chapter 7, verse 26. So in you making sure that this, this is the woman you want to marry, she has to have the same mindset as you. Get right. Out. Read that. Get out. Sirach. The book of Ecclesiastical, chapter 7 and verse 26. Hast thou a wife after thy mind? It says, do you have a wife after your mind? Because you're going to say, look, we can't eat pork, we can't eat crab, we can't eat lobster, we can't eat shrimp. She's going to say, well, I like that stuff. I want to eat. Is that a woman you should have by your side? Why not? She obeyed. She obeyed. Yeah, she obeyed. She didn't even leave you. Now before I get home, look, I'm bringing some of the brothers over. Could you cook? She gonna be rebellious and say, Nah, I don't want to. <laughs> like no. Nah. That's why the scriptures say the woman should be submissive unto her own husband as long as he's submissive underneath the Lord. Right, right. right. Because he, it, it, she should want to do that. Should he? You take, you taking care of the bills. You taking care of the kids. You taking care of the whole household. All you're asking is when I get home from work, is to have the food ready. That's all. Right. Take care of the household. Right. So you understand, that's the, that's the role of the men. 
Give me um, give me Sirach chapter 25 and verse 1. Since you got a question, come close. What do you like what you just said? What can a sister find a man that like that though? Every man. 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 Every what, what type of man you want? I want me a man to be a husband to me to take care of the family and not do what I'm supposed to do. So you want a man that's keeping God's commandments? Right. 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 You want an Israelite man because the commandments were given to who, sister? To, to the righteous man. And what's the righteous man? Who's a righteous man uh, that's doing the word of God. Right, but the word of God was given to who? Because who can keep the word of God? Only the people that it was given to. Finish reading this, and then we're going to get uh, Psalms 147, 19, and 20. So you understand that, brother? Yes, sir. You have to start keeping God's commandments. In order for her to follow you, you have to show that example. Um, Before you leave, before I get to your uh, your question, sis, give me Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7. Yeah, bring Deuteronomy it out. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7. Bring it out. Because the woman... You would have to teach her in order for her to teach the children. Right. right. Understand? Because we have we have a sound mind when it comes to keeping God's commandments. We know this is what you must do, this is what you must do. Just like you see how the sisters would say, well, I like wearing pants. We men would be like, nah, I don't want you wearing that ever again. I told my wife before I got married, no, nah, you can't wear that. For every pants I threw away, I bought a dress. Right. So there's no excuse for that. Right. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7. Uh -huh. And thou shalt teach them diligently uh -huh. unto thy children. So we have to teach our children the commandments of God. Because when they grow up, think about it, they're going to walk, they're going to be living in this lifestyle, right? What you think is going to be pushed amongst them in their community? What's pushed amongst those kids? Drugs, guns, homosexuality. Yeah, but it's bad in Georgia. Yeah, any type of food you want to eat. Christmas. Y'all celebrate Christmas? So it says in the teaching of children, right? Keep reading. Watch this. It shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. So when you're at the house, you're teaching your children about God's commandments. Read. Uh huh. And when thou walkest by the way. So when you're walking around, you see a man in dress in Georgia. Hey, son, I don't want you wearing that. Daughter, I don't want you wearing them leggings. Because you wearing leggings, right? Because this should, this your soon to be wife. Her wearing her leggings. What it shows the other men around her? Everything. Yeah, they them and it made me mad. Right. Hey, look, you, 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 you soon to uh, be husband. It says it gets him upset when you wear a lady. Right. right. Yeah. So a woman that's supposed to love a man, shouldn't you appreciate what he likes and what he dislikes? He don't like you wearing leggings. So you showing you love him. Should you be rebellious and keep on what you, you don't like you to wear? Bring no. Get some dresses, but they're going to be tight fitted though. They ain't going to be like that. That's the yeah. uh, I can't see, do that. That's why. Finish that off into teaching your children. That's why you want to find a woman that's like-minded as you. Right. Don't just marry any type of woman. She has to keep God's commandments. That's right. Right. And when thou liest down, and when thou rises up. So when, even when you go to sleep and when you wake up, you have to teach your children. Give me 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Bring it out. Because watch this about this scripture about how women should dress. N not only should they not be wearing pants with no dresses, but in the dress that they wear, watch this. 1 Timothy 2 and 9. Bring it out. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 9 uh -huh. in like manner also that women adore themselves in modest apparel it says modest apparel apparel that doesn't bring sexual attraction right. so if she wants to wear tight clothing she wants what sexual attraction right. so what can end up happening when she brings sexual attraction to herself another man can end up hitting right because he could keep spitting game so finally she falls weak to it and she sleeps with that brother right beat off the apple the tree right you see like yo that, I ain't gonna lie, that dishonors her husband. Right. It's disrespectful to the man. Right. Because I'm doing as much as I can to provide for our household, and all I ask for you to put on a modest dress, and you say, hell no. Nah. That's a spit in my face. Right. That's not a like-minded like woman. Right. Understand? So that's why you have to find a woman that's gonna keep God's commandments, that's gonna submit underneath you according to the words of God. Right. First, you have to show that example. Right. Understood? That's right. All praises. Now, sis, to find that godly man, Sirach chapter 7, verse 26. Bring it out. Again, you have to find a man like-minded as yourself. Right. But, sorry, get Sirach chapter 6 and verse 7. Sirach chapter 6 and verse 7. Bring it Let's out. Let's go for both of you again. Sirach chapter 6 and verse 7. Got it? Sirach, the book of Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 6 and verse 7. Uh huh. If thou wouldest find a friend, get you, a friend. If you want to get a friend, because before you marry that woman, you're going you're gonna to find out some things about her. You're going to find out what she likes, what she dislikes. If she's going to submit underneath you, you're going to find all those things out before you marry her. Right. So before you get a friend, read. Prove him first. 
We're gonna have to prove that, friend, first. Right. Same thing with you. If you wanna find that godly man, you're gonna look at the Bible. Hold up, a, a godly man is gonna take care of his house. That's right. right. A godly man is gonna provide for his own. He's That's gonna teach right. his people. Yeah. Right. He's gonna know who he is. Right. That's that he's right. not African American, that he's from the tribe of Judah, from the nation of Israel. That's right. right. A godly man would know that. So you're gonna make sure, you're gonna compare and contrast. Hold up, he's not doing this. That's not a godly man. Right. He is shrimp, crab, lobster, he's shaving his beard. That's not what a godly man should do. Right. He's smoking weed. Bring it out. The man not keeping the Sabbath. That's not a godly man. Right. Read on. And be not hasty to credit him. Because some of our women, they'll fall for that. That man will take him out to eat like Valentine's Day, which you should not be keeping. No, He'll no. give you a box of chocolate and a teddy bear. Oh, the legs are open. Right. No. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.